Batman? That had better keep still. Are you okay? Perfect. What little girl doesn't dream of being bait for her strapping dark night? We're leaving. You might be, but I'm not. Ah, both contestants are finally here. Tonight, folks, we've got riddles galore. But first, let me introduce my beautiful assistants. Ah, I'm growing tired of my dependence upon the least useless dregs I can scrape from Gotham's utterly uninspired underbelly. Why rely on others for help when you can design, program, engineer, and manufacture it yourself? challenge you complete, Please you'll get one little key. Collect every key and the kitty goes free. Remove it too soon and the kitty goes boom! <laughs> but don't despair, Dark Knight. You did one challenge already. So let's see how long it takes for you to turn a running start into a stumble and fall. Take that rocket-fueled roadster and head on over to Chinatown, Detective. Your second test is waiting. Is waiting. I'll come back for you. Stay here. Don't keep me waiting. Sir, I've regained control of the bridges. Good work. I'll contact you when I'm in position at Mercy Bridge. Well, Batman, old boy, this is quite the dilemma, isn't it? Do you save the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped, or the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped? Personally, I go see Eddie's latest contrived death conference. I'm sure he went to a lot of trouble. <laughs> I'm heading to Mercy Bridge to pick up the trail of the Arkham Knight's vehicle. Miss Gordon's safety is on all of our minds, sir. Good luck. Alfred, I found another body. The mutilation pattern looks to be identical to the previous murder victim. Then it appears Gotham does indeed have a serial killer in its midst. And here I was thinking this evening couldn't get any worse. I'm going to scan the body for unique identifiers. I've seen that pattern of scar tissue before. It's a bite mark. Analyzing its radius points to a species of Selacomorpha. This particular variety of shark is only found in the waters off the coast of North Gotham. The victim is fitted with an ocular prosthesis. This specific type of medical grade acrylic was used only once during a trial five years ago. Signs of trauma to the upper arm. At some point, titanium screws have been implanted to repair a fractured humerus. Alfred, the victim's name is Lisa Mendez. Uh, she had quite a troubled upbringing, sir. Orphaned age nine, foster homes, drug abuse. She developed a talent for surfing, hence the shark attack. Tragically, it's also how she lost her boyfriend. She was working for a Christian charity in Tucson, Arizona, when she went missing. Another person taken from outside the Gotham.